Hey fellow riders, it's Thomas from Motor News. Praise yourself for no hands buried journey into the technical side of motorcycles. In 2024, the 10 coolest motorcycles with the disappointing flaws. I'm exploding the raw reality behind some of the coolest bikes. Discover the unexpected technical change these bikes bring. Back up, subscribe for more insights and join the conversation in the comments below. So let's go! The MB Augusta Rush 1000 have been reported to face electronic related ISOs, including sensor multifunctions and oscillational glitches in the onboard system. The motorcycle's sophisticated design and high performance components contribute to more indicate maintenance procedures, potentially results in high service costs. The aggressive riding position and firm suspension might make long distance rides less comfortable for some riders. The throttle response on the MV Agusta Rush 1000 is known for being height sensitive, which can be challenging for riders who prefer smoother, more predictable power delivery. The Honda CB1000R's naked bike design provides minimal wind protection for the rider, particularly at the high speeds, making highway rides less shielded from wheel turbulence. Some riders may find the suspension on the CB1000R to be on the firm side, which could impact comfort on uneven or bumpy roads. And also, while the braking system is generally effective, there have been obsessional reports of riders expressing dissatisfaction with the feel of the brakes, sitting desire for more indicate bike. And what about the Yamaha's MT-10 SP? Some riders have reported oscillational hiccups or inconsistent with the quick shifter functionality, particularly during high speeds and aggressive riding. While the electronic suspension system on the MT-10 SP generally prized for its performance, a few users have noticed a challenge in filming in finding the ideal setup for their riding preference, requiring careful adjustments. In certain conditions, riders have observed that MT-10 SP can generate substantial hurt, especially during slow-moving traffic or extended rides in warm weather. Managing hair dissipation could be a consideration for some riders. Some riders have noted that the latest generation of the Suzuki Hayabusa may have relatively mid low end torque compared to other sport bikes, impacting initial acceleration at the lower speeds. While improvements have been made to manage weight compared to the previous model, the Suzuki Hayabusa is still a substantial motorcycle, and maneuvering in the tight speeds or at low speeds may pose challenge for some riders. This Despite improvements in aerodynamics, riders have reported that wind protection could still be enhanced, especially at high speeds. Some riders have reported that the KTM 719 Duke can emit significant heat, especially in the warming climates. During prolonged rides, this can result in rider discomfort, particularly around the legs and things. While the suspension on the KTM is adjustable, some riders have found the stock setup to, to be on the and also few riders have mentioned that the throttle response particularly at lower speeds can be abrupt. This can make smooth low speed maneuvers challenging for some riders.
The Harley Davidson Sportster S has been notated by some riders for its waist distribution, which may feel different compared to other motorcycles. This cold impact maneuverability and handling, particularly at lower speeds or during tight turns, and another constitutional is a relatively small fuel tank on the Sportster S. Riders who enjoy long distance touring might find the need for more frequent fuel stop due to the limited fuel capacity. Some riders report concerns related to the Indian Scout Bobber's braking system. This might include problems with braking performance, such as eye service responsiveness on unwind braking. Another potential concern is related to the electrical system. A few riders also have mentioned ISO with reliability on central electrical components, such as lights or indicators. Some Triumph Rocker 3 GT riders have reported problems related to the clutch and transmission. This could include difficulties in shifting gears or ISO with clutch engagement. A few riders also have experienced challenges with the electrical system on the Triumph Rocket. This may involve ISO with the lights, indicators and other electronic components. And also, in some instances, riders have raised concerns about the suspension system. This might include ISO with comfort stability on overall suspension performance. Some riders have report concerns related to the suspension system on the Kawasaki Z900 performance. This code includes ISOs with comfort performance on adjustment. There have been occasional reports of problems with the braking system, including ISO with brake responsiveness or brake components durability. And also few riders have mentioned challenges with the electronic components, such as dashboard on control system. This ISO might affect the overall riding experience. And what about the BMW's S1000R? Some riders have not associational throttle response. I saw with this bike, including reports of abrupt or unwell response. A few users have also reports problems related to the gearbox, such as difficulty shifting or unexpected gear changes. There have been sporadic reports on electronic ISOs riding from sensor malfunctions to oscillational problems with the bike's electronic components. And the last, Ducati Street Fighter V4S. Some riders have raised concerns about the Ducati Street Fighter, generating significant hurt, especially during slow moving or stop and go traffic conditions. A few users also report oscillational electronic ISOs, including concerns about the reliability of the central electronic components and the system on the Street Fighter V4S. 